Hey everybody, welcome to the Dental Diaries podcast. This is Jessica Amory doing a check-in. It's been a while since I have done one and I'm actually um, behind. So much has been going on. Um, I haven't been able to tape uh, my episodes per usual. So I decided, like I said, where it's been a while, I would just hop on. Please forgive the sound as I'm in my backyard, um, not at you know soiree or the office where I have my nice Yeti mic. I'm doing this straight through my phone. So forgive the sound quality and any background noise you may hear, like the birds. Um, but that's what makes this app so incredible is that you can just hop on from wherever you are. So if anyone's had an interest in doing a podcast, I'm telling you, the Anchor app is really user-friendly. And um, like I said, you can do it from anywhere, wherever you are, and just like upload it and done and done. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is Labor Day, um, a nice day for everybody to stay at home. I definitely have fall feels for sure. I'm in my backyard. It's mid-afternoon and um, I really, really want the sun to feel warmer than it is. My husband had taken the kids to the beach earlier while I was on a call with a client for dental fluence. And um, it must have been chilly because I don't know, I'm in the backyard and it's definitely cool. And um, I'm just wanting the sun to feel warmer than it is, but it's it feels lower, like fall is definitely here. And my apologies, someone is definitely like doing something loud in the background here. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's Labor Day. I've just a day to to kick back and relax. Certainly, we have been slammed at the office since we've been back. Um, My gosh, right? Months now we've been back. And the silver lining to that is that we get to see people and socialize. And that seems to be the biggest thing amongst people I'm talking to is that they don't have, um, you know, anybody really that they're at home and they don't have the socialization that we get all day long, all the time. So it's, um, definitely been great where that's concerned. Although people are bringing in a lot of heaviness with them. Um, certainly the stress of everything that's been going on and just being cooped up for as long as we have been, you know, the wearing masks outside, just all of the things really with no end in sight of when it's going to be over. So I was quite bummed. I had to move my um, workshop, basically had rescheduled it from April for Diddle Sway to um, this October. And then with no end in sight, I mean, back then it was six months, right? So I figured it would definitely happen. And then no end in sight had to cancel that, which just was such a bummer, such a bummer. And I have still had the venue. So what I decided to do is make lemonade out of lemons and use the venue because it's so stinking cute for my annual photo shoot, which I didn't even know if I was going to do this year, to be honest. But then I had the space and figured like, this is kind of perfect. I'll just, um, you know, fly Eric, my stylist out and, you know, just, just knock some photos out and batch some content, um, for like my 17 channels. (laughs) No, a lot of, you know, I have a lot of, um, Instagram handles and websites and things like that. So having content on hand really helps. And that's something, like I said, we do it dental soiree with clients is that we build that content. So like I said, dentists can, or dental practices can just put it on autopilot for the most part, 80, 20 rule, you know, just kind of building the content 80% should really be on autopilot. And then 20% should be behind the scenes. What's happening in all of your worlds, um, at the practice that the culture, um, et cetera. So, so that will be fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Time is moving super quick. I can't believe, like I said, even that day is almost here and I haven't prepared. Usually I would already know the walls we're going to the props I'm going to use And I haven't had a second because basically you guys know I stepped into Dental Soiree um, hard during the downtime, which I loved, 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 and just built a lot of things. And one being the Dental Fluence, um, you know, mentorship program I'm doing, I absolutely adore it. And I realized that, I don't know, it just so feeds my soul because 
I've done all of the things in dentistry, right? I do all of the high end dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, et cetera. And it's like, there just hasn't been, you know, any place higher for me to go as far as learning. And I think we all inspire to learn more and grow and fly. So when um, someone had asked me during the downtime to essentially coach her, we were actually just talking today about the word coach. I don't necessarily love the word coach. I love the word mentor. I think, um, you know, we all, I don't know, just have so much in us. You just need a mentor that's maybe years ahead that can kind of finesse it and, and pull out even, you know, the greater basically. Um, but anyway, you know, she had asked me to do it. I said, yes. And I've been able to just grow so much through helping her see things, you know, in dentistry that she wouldn't know otherwise. And I'm working with someone else too. And it's just incredible on cases because what you don't know, you don't know. And coming out of dental school, you don't know a lot. You just literally step into owning a business, like having to know business. And more than that, the bare ass basics of dentistry. You don't know, you know, all of the things you certainly aren't looking, you know, when you don't learn about implants in dental school, you're, you're scared and you're not thinking, oh, I should do an implant here and crowns versus like, oh, okay, well, I know how to do a bridge. So I'll just do a bridge there when that may not be serving that person as well. So that's been incredible. I have loved, loved, loved it, continue to love it. It just literally makes me so happy. And, um, yeah, but I'm doing all of the things. So I've launched my members club for dental spray. That is amazing. Spent months and months doing that. And now we're on the inside and I was able to step on the inside and I'm really super excited. We're only in week two, but I'm excited to see people, um, you know, their growth, um, you know, with their, their Instagram accounts and their social media and converting, you know, people to patients. So that's going to be phenomenal as well. And, um, you know, that, and then the patients too. So just doing all of the things and super, super busy, of course, being a mom too, there's lots going on with the kiddos. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about homeschool for a second. Yes. Homeschool is epic. Um, we are at home where some people around here have gone back. It's just kind of all over the place with some are still virtual and some are back and some are half and half. Our kids are officially home. So we have had to hire tutors to come to the house because basically my husband works, he's on the golf course and I'm in my practice um, in someone's mouth. (laughs) So we've had to try to do that. And of course, like I said, the kids just aren't learning like they would. It's, you know, school is just so different and, and not great. So that's definitely a stress. And I'm sure for parents that are at home trying to work at home and having their kids homeschool, has got to be so difficult. I can't even begin to imagine. So for all of us in dentistry, I mean, praise, right? So lucky that we still get to go in to an environment as hard as it is. I know it's exhausting, but, um, you know, we get to see people and talk to people and be away and like step into what we always knew and continue to do because that isolation is real for people that aren't getting out, aren't doing things and aren't knowing when that's going to happen. I know a lot of my patients aren't actually going back like their um, businesses. They're working from home, not even through the end of the year, but for an entire year, an entire year. I know I've got to take it day by day because I can't imagine, you know, even like months from now that we're still doing the same thing. I know I miss all of the things, even though movies are open and things like that. Even, you know, the gym, I have gone back to the gym and it is, um, completely, um, you know, empty at all times, but it's good. It's good for me. I feel like it's great for stress for me. And it's also, um, oh, so cute. My daughter just came out here and, um, showed me some fingernails that have smiley faces all over them. Gotta love that. I don't know where she found it. It's funny because my kids see smiles all the time and they bring them to me and they're like, mommy, mommy, look at these smiles. Um, So anyway, but yes, so all of the things, right? Just all of the things post COVID and quarantine. I would love to know how you all are doing, um, you know, through all of this, I am in touch with so many. And I think that's why with social media, 
Um, it's been so fun to engage with so many of you there at Dental Girl Gang, as well as, you know, my accounts. Um, keep engaging there. I love love meeting you all. And certainly we that's where we have found our incredible guests that have been on this podcast. And, you know, today I'm stepping in as my check check in because I didn't have anything batched, which I should have. But again, just so busy. Um, There are a lot of other things happening too that I think I shared a while ago that I really couldn't share and I still can't share, which I wish I could because I'm like the most transparent person ever. Um, But slowly that will come out to everybody uh, sooner than later. But the next week, um, not next week, I will be away next week. The following week when I get back, I am batching a series of podcast guests um, in one day, like just batching them all and then they will all go out. But so there will be more people, more amazing people on deck. And certainly if you have something amazing you want to share, I would love to hear from you. I would love to talk to you and have you be a guest on this podcast. So please let me know. Um, Just reach out via DM. And like I said, I'd be happy to schedule it. So um, because over on this end, like I said, not much I can share when a lot of stuff I've got to kind of keep under wraps and then everything else. If you're following my journey, you pretty much know it through Instagram because I show you all that's going on at all times. But that's pretty much it from here. Not a whole lot of new, Um, you know, and don't want to really dip into all of that crazy, crazy negative um, because certainly while there are storms or rainbows on the other side, and there have been some incredible, incredible pivots that people have made coming out of quarantine. I'm sure you've all seen it with your patients. So, you know, as much as we want to get caught up in the fact that there are riots and looting and, you know, hurricanes and tornadoes and weird things like weird things, like an accident happening in front of my house or like a tree falling, like just random things um, you know, that you could look at and be like, what's happening with this world? You can also look at it and say, Hey, this is a moment in time and that we'll all remember it. We can only grow stronger from it. So I hope you're all staying strong and, um, you know, digging in. And, um, I just wanted to thank you all for listening. And this was my check-in. I'll look forward to being back here at some point, but, um, next Tuesday, we'll be back with another guest. Until then, have an amazing, amazing Labor Day.